Hello you guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have another FabFitFun product review video for you. I am so excited for the edit sale, the spring 2019 edit sale that is coming up on Tuesday, April 2nd, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I am going to go live that night. I'm starting to go live Tuesday nights at 5 p.m. East uh, Pacific Standard Time. And I hope you will join me. And on that day, it is. it happens to be the day that the spring edit sale opens for annual members. So I'm going to go live and I'm going to talk about the stuff that's available in the FabFitFun spring edit sale. Uh, if you know, if you are new to my channel, I am not a FabFitFun affiliate. I'm not sponsored. FabFitFun does not know who the heck I am. So I am just a very, very happy FabFitFun customer. I do know some people have been displeased with the amount of time it takes for FabFitFun to ship them their boxes. I have never had a huge issue. I did. It did take me a while to get one box, but I wasn't upset. And they did give me a ten dollar credit because of that. So I thought. Uh, hey, you can always be late and give me $10 credits. But I do know some people have had some issues. Uh, if you are considering subscribing, stick around. I do a lot of FabFitFun review videos. I have a handful of other ones that you can go check out. And let's get into it. So the first thing I wanted to uh, talk about this, I have talked about this one in another review video, but I've used it a little bit more. This is the Marula Facial Oil, and it is really, really growing on me. I've had a chance to use it more more and more and I really 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 like it now so it is very luxurious really moisturizes I have dry skin so it is excellent I will update you once it is empty and let you know my final thoughts as I usually do this is an empty I have raved about this this is grown alchemist this is their polishing facial exfoliant and I have squeezed the heck out of it so you cannot see uh, the name of it anymore. I just loved this. This is came in my fall 2018 box, which was my first box ever. And I, oh, there, there, I was able to get it. I really, really hope that this shows up in another sale and I will stock up on them. I'm really, really sad that this is out. People rave about Grown Alchemist. I have used several of their things and I haven't loved them all. I have a Grown Alchemist uh, review video and I, I, that review video actually doesn't include everything that I've used, but I've talked about every single thing that I've used by them. I haven't loved every single thing, but I've loved a lot of the stuff. And they are an Australian company. They are cruelty-free. I try to buy cruelty-free. And next is this Ahava uh, Dead Sea Water Mineral Hand Cream. This Ahava uh, hand cream has been available in FabFitFun sales. I actually didn't get it there though. I heard of it from there and I saw it at Ross. So I picked it up. I picked up two for, I think $4.99. It was an excellent deal. So be on the lookout. Ross had it. And I love this hand cream. This one's sealed. I have the other one at work. It's very, very nice. I'm going to throw this, this one into a giveaway at some point. Be on the lookout if you're new to my channel. I do giveaways as long as I'm doing YouTube, I will do give you giveaways. They are so fun. I have one that is actually closing tonight. I will link it above me. And so go and check it out before uh, it's over, before it closes, and see if you want to enter yourself. Anyway, so this hand cream, when I first put it on, it felt like it was loaded with dimethicone. And so I went in and I looked up all the ingredients and all of the ingredients in here, as far as I can tell, are the natural art alternatives. So I don't remember off the top of my head what it was that was a natural alternative to dimethicone that really felt that way, but it was a natural art alternative. And so I was really, really impressed with the ingredients in this hand cream when I went to go look into it further. Okay, the next thing I have used is this Orlando Pita Play Atmo Shield um, uh -huh. Atmo Shield Hair Protectant Spray. This claims to do 10 different things. And that is heat protection, humidity control, environmental uh, shields from environmental stressors, enhances manageability, helps repair split ends, preserves shine, smooths hair cuticle, promotes softness, 
maintains color and refreshes curls. Uh, so I did like using this. I love these kinds of conditioning sprays. Uh, they work pretty well for my hair. They aren't my go-to for my curly hair, but they do work pretty well for my hair. I do like that it also is a heat protectant. It smells, it smells, it smells good. It smells subtle. It smells fresh. It smells salon clean kind of smell. And this was a, like a big star of one of the sales. If you go to the community forums, you will see that there is often one or two products that are like the coveted stars of the sales that everybody is trying to get. People for the most part, we're raving. There's always one or two outliers who say, oh, I didn't like that, it didn't work for me, but this one, people were saying, oh my gosh, I love it, I'm so excited to see it, I'm gonna stock up, and I'm really happy that I did buy it and did try it. For me, though, for my hair type, like I just said, leave-in sprays are not my go-to. I think that if I had straighter, silkier hair instead of the curly, coarse hair that I'm working with right now, I think that I would like these better and I think that this would do really well in my hair. So if you have that kind of hair and you like leave-in masks, this is an excellent one. Another excellent one is this uh, Living Proof Perfecting Spray. This one was in the sale for $5. I believe I've already talked about this in a review and I didn't mean to talk about it here, but I just kind of, while I was on leave-in sprays, picked this up and decided to mention it. This was in the sale for five dollars. It retails for twenty five. Uh, retails for twenty eight dollars. But the last time in the last sale, the spring add-ons, they had Living Proof, the Restore Shampoo and Conditioner, for twenty one dollars each. So this was a ridiculously amazing deal. And then the next Living Proof thing that was in the sales was not an amazing deal. It was a deal. They're, they retail, retail for 26 or 28 each and they were 21 each, the shampoo and conditioner. Anyway, so those are those leave-in masks. I finally got to try something from Briogeo a couple of nights ago and I uh, hoped you'd be able to try more things. This is the Don't uh, Despair Repair hair mask. After I bought this, I bought this a while ago in the fall at a sale and I have had a lot of uh, hair masks to work through. So I finally got to this. After I bought it on the community forum, the only thing I saw said about it was something negative. Somebody said, oh, by the way, I didn't, the, the Don't Despair Hair Repair Hair Mask by Briogeo did nothing for me. And somebody else said, I know, me neither. And I thought, oh, darn. <laughs> but anyway, so I tried it. I, um, I can say that my first impression is it didn't wow me. I didn't notice anything particularly amazing after using it. I going back to Living Proof again. I haven't loved everything by Living Proof, but I tried a Living Proof Restore hair mask. So far of all the hair masks I've tried, that was the most amazing one. It is this color and it comes in a tub, so I really recommend that one. But, uh, so this one, this Briogeo one, it has a really, really subtle smell, which I really, really appreciate. Subtle smells, I feel like, are kind of hard to come by, but, um, it's got another subtle, like like I was saying about the Orlando Pita, Pita Play, it's got a subtle salon fresh scent smell. So that was really, really nice. It's not a very thick. Like I said, it didn't do anything notable upon first impression. I do like to come back and let you know if I still think it that way after using it a few more times or when it's empty, the product, uh, it being the product that I'm talking about. So I will let you know if my opinion changes about this or if I still am kind of like, meh. It didn't really leave an impression on me. I missed the boat on the Briogeo result of Rosarco Milk leave-in hair mask. Another leave-in like these two. I missed the boat on that. That was really, really popular. And then I joined right after that was available in some sales. And it was available on a lot of other subscription boxes too. And I'm pretty bummed about not getting to use that. A lot of people really, really liked that. Um, I also missed the boat on the Bum Bum Cream, the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. But I did get to smell it in a Sephora and I uh, took a little sample and I have gotten to try it since. And I'm not terribly, terribly upset. Uh, that I didn't get to try it. It's lovely, it's lovely, but I I find that there's a lot of this hype around a lot of these products, and then once you use it, it's like, oh, okay, this is nice, but now I realize, I'm starting to realize after 
This is my third season being a FabFitFun customer, and I foresee being a FabFitFun customer as long as I can afford it. I really, really like it. I have never been able to try high-end products really at all, let alone so very many at affordable prices, so this is so exciting. But I found this that in my third season, it's getting easier to not need to get a product that is really, really hyped. The first sale I spent $400 or something. I'm still using things from it. That's, that's why I caught this in the fall edit sale, which was my first sale. So I'm able to not do that. The last sale I spent something like 150, so I'm getting better. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to tell you guys about was this Clorez uh, Mulberry Vanilla Body Butter. And I don't think that I've talked about this before. So far the ingredients, I'm learning more and more. There's something else that I never knew I would do when I joined FabFitFun is learn more and more about ingredients. And so the ingredients are for the most part okay as far as I know except for that they do have pegs in them, P-E-G. And I will link a short article to what pegs are in my description box below. I don't remember offhand exactly why they're toxic, but I do remember that they're toxic and I do know that their function is to help things absorb into our skin and there are healthy alternatives to pegs. The problem is pegs are in almost all lotions, so there you go, they're kind of hard to avoid. Other than that, it is an extremely luxurious body butter. It is a body butter. So it is like, if you want to put it on, it's thick, it takes time to absorb, but it leaves your skin, it leaves my skin. I try to remember to speak about how it works for me, not saying your, anyway. So it leaves my skin extremely soft and I just love it. And the smell is really nice. I smell more berry than I smell vanilla. There was a fig and something in the last sale of the Corez and I decided not to get it because I still have this one and I wanted to just try other things instead of the same thing that I've already tried. I decided not to get it and then somebody kind of affirmed that choice because they left a comment saying that they had an opportunity to smell it and that they did not like the smell. I can't remember how they described it, but it was a pretty negative description. So, uh-oh, I just saw a formaldehyde releaser in this. So I am learning more and more about ingredients and I just saw that there's a formaldehyde releaser, which is not good for us. It also, if you are sensitive to products, uh, the formaldehyde releasers it can cause skin irritation. So that's another one that's in here. So take take that for what it's worth. This is an empty. I have talked about this before, but I want to kind of wrap up my opinion on it before I toss the container. This is Skin Owl Neck Plus Super Smoothing and Contouring Not Neck Concentrate. This is cruelty-free, vegan, organic, like high and mighty. It was made in the USA. It does not have scent, which is even better, and I don't think it did. Ex it gave me exceptional results. I'm not considering buying this again full price or even in a sale. So I do want to find a good neck cream. If you watched me before, you know one of my problems is um, firmness, the skin firmness, and I am. Getting, I'm getting turkey neck. I'm very self-conscious about it. I have had really good luck with this Dermalect. I wasn't gonna talk about this one either, but I've talked about this one a lot. Dermalect uh, Self-Esteem Neck Firming Lift Cream. But this has like parabens, pegs, uh, formaldehyde releaser. Dermalect is kind of shameless when it comes to their ingredients, but this has given me so many good results with my neck skin, so I'm gonna use this up and then I have another one and then I'm gonna have to try to find something more natural because I don't wanna get cancer from all of my beauty products. Okay, so this is the Noto A Gender Hair and Body Oil. This is just multi-use, you can use it for everything. It has a very strong smell. Whew, it's, it's a vetiver, I think, is the oil in it that smells so strong. It smells like essential oil, massage oil, it's, wow, so strong. It doesn't smell bad, but I wore it and my husband really didn't like how my hair smelled with it in it. And I don't feel like it really did well in my hair. I haven't used it as a body oil. I, I will try that and I will give you an update. 
You know what, I just saw that it has lavender in it and that is why my husband must not have liked it. I didn't realize it had lavender in it, I forgot. And that means that that makes sense, he does not like lavender. Okay, well that makes more sense now. So maybe I'll try to use this when I know I won't see it for a while as a body oil and let you know how I think of it uh, there. I will give you an update on this one, it is a very strong smell. The thing that I really like about this brand though is that this is called an agender oil and Noto was giving part of the proceeds to LGBTQIA, I think there are more, it's LGBTQ plus initiatives, rights, activism, whatever, and I am an, I consider myself an ally so, ally, so I was really happy to see that and when a brand contrib contributes to a greater good of something, it always makes me happy. The last thing is this little note, this is also Noto. It's like a tinted chapstick, and I would show you how it looks except for I have lip color. It's minty, it's a tinted chapstick, it was $5 in the sale. Would I buy it again? No, I'm not going to get another one, but I think that this does look kind of pretty when I'm in a hurry and I feel like I'm not wearing enough lip color and I look kind of, I feel like I look like I'm dead or something, but it brightens up the face just a little bit. So that is it for my video. Thank you for joining me. Like, comment, consider subscribing, and I will see you Tuesday to talk about what's in the sale. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye.